a rare smile from Tibet's spiritual leader. As the Chinese authorities tighten security in his homeland, a message of support from a prominent American politician. Today we are here at this sad time to join you in shedding the bright light of truth onto what is happening in Tibet. Nancy Pelosi is Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. She called on the international community to denounce China's rule in Tibet. The freedom-loving people throughout the world do not speak out against China's oppression in China and Tibet. We have lost all moral authority to speak on behalf of human rights anywhere in the world. This visit was planned before the recent protests against Chinese rule turned to violence. Violence Beijing accuses the Dalai Lama of inciting from his exile in India. Information from inside Tibet is still hard to come by. Pictures slow to filter out. These, shot by a tourist several days ago, seem to show a man, thought to be Chinese, being brutally attacked by a mob. China says 13 people were killed by rioters in Lhasa. The Tibetan government in exile says at least 99 people have died in a crackdown by Chinese troops. In areas of China surrounding Tibet, the troops are also out in force. Chinese authorities have admitted that security forces fired on Tibetan protesters in Sichuan province last Sunday, wounding four in what they say was self-defense. Mark Worthington, BBC News.